everybody, my name is Tiffany and I'm the Tipsy Artist. My mission in life is to teach people all over the world how to paint with a full glass of wine and a whole lot of fun. Way to go! That's what I'm needing. Oh, you me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today I'm going to teach you how to paint this painting. This is the Zebra Love Cross. I'm going to teach you how to do zebra print, swirls, blending, and we're going to have a great time. Way to go! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have two sayings with every painting class. First one is, every painting is divine with a little more wine. And the second one is, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. Okay, for today's painting, you are only going to need three colors. Black, red, and white. And we have four simple brushes, whole family brushes to help us paint. We have Big Daddy, Mama, Little Buddy, and little bit. Oh, and of course, a full glass of wine. Well, <laughs> okay, I've already started. So you have been provided with a template that shows the shape of this cross and I've made mine out of cardboard. All right, when you position your cross vertically, your weight should always be a little bit heavier on the bottom than it is on the top. And if you want to be really exact, you can have your ruler nearby. Now we have a little heart. And now we're ready to get started with our painting. So I'm going to start with Big Daddy. I'm going to teach you a little bit about red. Red is very challenging. I'm going to push Big Daddy into the red paint back and forth. And then I'm going to show you uh, how most beginners approach the canvas. They start to push on the canvas like this and they erase a lot of the paint off. So what you want to do is change the way that you hold the brush. So you want to hold the brush on the flat side and with a very light hand apply the paint. And you want to make sure that before you go in you've got a nice thick daub of paint. So there's a big difference between this and this. This is very transparent, this is very opaque, this is what we're going for. You want to apply it in an X stroke and again light hand and just making the letter X over and over again and I'm just applying pure red at this point. And then when you start to add in a little bit of the black you just barely touch your brush into a little corner of black so it looks about like that. There's not much on there. Black is very overpowering you can see how it really starts to take over. So you want to blend that in. It starts to make more of a crimson look and add some really nice depth to the color. And now, without rinsing the brush, I'm going to just alternate and go back and forth between the red and the black. Now when I start to get closer to this cross line here, and then using my ruler, but I'm going to use the back side of the ruler, the reason why is because if I use the front, then I'm going to paint over all my numbers. And then you won't be able to see your measurements. So I use the back side, and then I hold this up to the edge, make your blackened reddish line, and then you want to make sure that you wipe off your ruler and clean it, because you're going to want to use the same technique all the way around the cross, but if you still have wet paint on your ruler, and then you go in and make another line somewhere else, then what happens is you end up getting a black line that comes into the cross and you don't want that to happen. And you want to do this gradually and one side at a time as you're working this in 
because you want to be able to work into that paint and make a gradual transition as it flows into the background of the painting. If you want to brighten up your red at this point, you can go back over it with another second coat and just do pure red over the top if you want to brighten up this background a little bit. And so I'm going to now do my heart. I'm going to use Mama exercise here press her into the red paint. I want to make sure and do the red heart before the break because we want this to have plenty of time to set up and dry before we actually go to write the word love on there. I'm going to use the edge side of the brush. To make these nice lines that come up around the heart here. And then once I get into the center of the heart, then I'm going to have to switch over to the flat side of the brush to have good coverage and filling in the center of the heart. And if mama is a little bit challenging for you to use, if she's too big, then try little buddy. This one might be easier to control. paint is for the most part set up and dried and so we're going to start to work on our zebra print. So I'm going to use little buddy. He's the oldest of the children and he has a little flat top. We are going to push into the black paint. And we start by making these little lines. And they look like leaves but when you do a lot of them in a pattern, then they start to look like zebra print. I just start on one side. You make the thin edge lines first and then you can turn the brush on the side and fill in. And then you wanna come in on the opposite side I'll do one in the center that will just be like the whole leaf shape here. So that's what it looks like in the beginning. It just looks like a leaf. And 
and you repeat this pattern all the way down. And then something fun that I've been doing lately is I've been making the zebra pattern come out of the heart at a different angle. So I like to go ahead and start that in the beginning so that I can see where that's going to go first. And then, then I vary my zebra pattern shape around that. But this way the zebra pattern represents a little bit of that flaming heart look and then also this, the pattern of the zebra print at the same time. It's really pretty cool. going to firm up my black line again on the outside is the edge side of the brush all right so now I'm going to come into the heart in the center with little bit. I'm going to rotate the head of the brush just by twirling the brush into the paint. That helps load the brush but it also gives me a nice fine point on the end. And you have to reload the brush almost before every stroke. I just start one stroke at a time.
So we are now done with our painting. We're finished with our masterpiece. Swirls. Oh my god, you're right. Swirls. Okay, whoops. Swirls. Okay, we have completed our masterpiece. Yay! So now we are going to take our little bit and we're going to sign our name at the bottom. And you can either do your full signature or you can do an initial. I actually like to do an initial. And then I just use a color that will show up as contrasting, so I choose white. Okay, so we've signed our masterpiece. Congratulations, you are now officially a Tipsy Artist. Be sure to visit tipsyartist.com for more information and more videos. And remember, every painting is divine with a little more wine. Whee! No, I messed it up. A little more wine. <laughs> okay, I'll get it right. Remember, every video... <laughs> Dang it! And remember, every... <laughs> okay, I got this. Hey everybody, I'm a Tipsy Artist. I'm gonna rock your world! <laughs> and remember, every painting is divine with a little more wine. Until next time, I'm the Tipsy Artist. Wee! Oh my God. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>